Hello, good morning. My name is Joseph Darianto. I am from Universitas Atmajaya Yogyakarta. Due to the policy from our university, I cannot attend this conference. So we prepare these presentations. My team, Joseph Darianto, myself, Bella Cynthia, and Amuki. And the title of our paper is Retailer's LP Model Considering Demand and Holding Cost of the Defective Items Under Carbon Emission Tax. We know that inventory management, for example, LQ model, deals with the question on how much to order and when to order. Traditionally, it only considers economic factors such as cost. But global warming and environmental problem has now become global concerns. So, green logistics or green supply chain management has become an emerging issue including low carbon inventory model. A low carbon inventory model considers CO2 emissions from inventory and warehousing activities. The objective is not only minimize the cost or maximize the profit, but also minimizing the environmental impact such as CO2 emissions. We also know that machine reliability problem and human error may cause some defective item with considerable with considerable economic consequences. Particularly, we consider the model from Tan and Su in 2013 in which we identified the situation in which the defective items are gradually depleted following customer demand. So the retailers still keep the defective items and sell it with a lower cost. Our proposed LP model works under some assumptions about the total demand, a known probability function, a known inspection rate, which is higher than the demand rate, with no shortage during the inspection. After the inspection, the retailer keeps the defective item in a different area, and they will be sold at a lower price and have a lower demand rate. And the shortages are low and completely recorded. Yeah, this figure is uh, identified or uh, illustrate our inventory model. You can see here, after the inspections, the retailers still keep the defective items. It is sold in a lower price, but with a lower demand. We also consider a complete take order. Okay. From this figure, we can identify some equations about time such as the inspection time and the cycle time T. We also know that the expected total revenue ETR comes from the total sales of the perfect and as well as the defective items as shown here. Meanwhile, the total cost will consider the ordering cost, purchasing cost, inspection cost, holding cost of perfect items, holding cost of defective items, big order cost, and transportation cost. Simply, we know that ordering cost equal to C0, purchasing cost is depend on the quantity of order or order size times the purchasing price. And the inspection cost is the inspection cost per unit times the order quantity. This is the cost per cycle. Meanwhile, the inventory holding costs will consider traditional holding costs for perfect items and carbon emission costs due to energy consumption, similar to we at all 2007. Meanwhile, for the defective items, the holding costs follow stone and zoom model. We also consider back order costs in C6. In this research, we consider transportation costs. We consider fixed costs and variable costs and carbon emission costs. The fixed costs and variable costs may come from the fuel, but the carbon emission costs particularly considers the fuel consumption 
and the emission rate from fuel combustion. So finally, we have this total cost of expected total cost per centers. From Ada and Java, we can convert and use the expected total revenue and expected total cost into expected total profit per unit time by dividing ETR minus ETC with the expected cycle time. And taking the second derivative of EPTU with respect to B and Y, we has the these following results that shows the profit function is strictly concave. Further, setting the first derivative of ETTU with respect to B and Y equal to zero, we can obtain the optimum B and optimum Y, the optimum back order quantity and optimum order quantity. Further, the expected total emissions per unit time from the inventory holding and delivery activities can be separated as follows. We also do a numerical analysis or a numerical example to illustrate how the model works. So we adopt data from Tom and Zoo and add some additional transportation and carbon emission parameters from B and Dariata 2020. Using this following data, we obtain two results. First, when we consider a carbon tax of $75 per ton CO2 and the second one when there is no carbon tax and this is the results. We can compare the optimum back order quantity and optimum order quantity. We can compare the expected total profit and expected total emissions. From this result, we found that the model incorporated a percentage of repetitive item in a received lot follow the inspection and separation of the repacking items. And the research shows that incorporating carbon emissions into an LQ model may reduce total carbon emission although there is a reduction in the expected total profit. We can see this result here. Considering carbon tax will increase the order quantity. But it will reduce the expected total profit while well, we are successfully reduce the expected total emissions. <coughs> For the future research, but actually we are now working with the extension of our purpose model, that is by considering a partial reorder. But in the future we also plan to extend this research by determining the optimal price for the defective item to increase the demand rate. So we will consider price sensitive demand, especially for the defective item. Thank you. That is all presentations. For further questions, suggestions, and maybe future collaboration, please contact us. Especially this is my email address. Thank you so much.